Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is still Tea Time on Floss TV Africa. And of course, you know how we do it. We bring you the best. And yes, talking about the best, we have the best siblings in the world joining us on the show today. And they go by the name Stones and Jezreel. And he, um, Stone and Jezreel. And if you are a religious follower of the show, you know we've had Stone like twice or thrice or maybe I don't even know. But we've had Stone over and over again, you know, spreading the gospel of good music. But I'll be telling you a little bit about this sibling. And they are dedicated to using music as a tool to uplift people through the poetic words in their songs. S&J's writing and musical influences include um, Nas, Lauren Hill, Fela Kuti, Emily Sande, and Bob Marley. The duo formed after Stone's rap crew split up and Jezreel moved to Ireland. The combination of Jezreel's soulful, uh, uh, melodic voice and Stone's poetic rap style led to the duo teaming up to create their own style and sound. And since I've shared stage with the likes of Michael Bubble and opened for Rihanna, Akon, Coolio, Two Face, P Square, and a host of others. The follow up singles, This Kind Love, one featuring face off even if we're received nationally and internationally with the band scoring two nominations for an imea award for the song of the year with even if an r&b soul artist of the year in 2016. they have a new single ladies and gentlemen and in this one they believe they can fly as it's titled fly ladies and gentlemen boys and girls let's welcome to the show the phenomenal stone and jezreel hey. How you guys doing? Hi, people. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm. Yeah, thanks for that introduction. <laughs> Wonderful introduction. <laughs> How you guys doing, though? Nice to finally meet Jezreel. We've met Stone over and over. Stone feels like a co-anchor on this show already. <laughs> yeah. But how you guys doing, though? How you guys doing? No, we're doing really good, really good. Um, oh. We're in lockdown in Ireland, but you know, we're, we're still we're still pressing in. But um, all's good. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, speaking of your music, you know, you guys have been putting in a lot of work and then we know you have new videos. You know, tell us about that. What, how has the pandemic really affected your creativity or how has it improved your creativity? Do you want to answer that stuff? <laughs> No, go ahead, go ahead. I'm like, I'm an anchor here. Just <laughs> it's my turn. Nice I'm gonna one. Ask questions. No, I mean, like the 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 pandemic started off. You know, like everyone was kind of like in panic, but after some time, we we found a reading. You know, so it was really about kind of setting up your space to be able to still stay creative. You know, write songs, mm. and also even work on the songs that we had. Mm done before and mm. you know like what we're doing we're, we're bringing out songs that we had recorded we've done the videos so it really helped us to you know just sit back you know um strip everything back and say okay what's the next step how are we going to take advantage of this and i think uh our music is really really timely at the time mm. um at the moment you know which uh, there's a lot of people going through a lot in the world so they need something good to hear something to make them dance mm. something to make them happy and motivated so it has really pushed us to to bring out a lot of our, our songs mm. right. general i really want to know because obviously i've spoken to stone many times and he had said all these great things about how he's working with his sibling and it's awesome but i don't know if it's the same for you, <laughs> you know, these boys <laughs> brothers sometimes no. can be a place i want to know from your from your own perspective yeah, like you don't start <laughs> <laughs> so I want to know, don't worry, I, okay, we okay. can mute for, him for the so he doesn't hear what you have to say, but I want to know what it's like working with your brother. For the sake of girl power, I hope you're not going to attack me as you've been attacking the guys in the studio. <laughs> oh, okay, you've been watching. No, Thank I, you would not, see that. I would not. I'm <laughs> prejudiced. I am prejudiced. I am for women only. I'm kidding. Good, I'm good. Kidding. But I liked it though. It's good. <laughs> um, you're pulling them out. No, yeah, it's um, obviously, you, you know, I, I, as a as working with your sibling, it's great because it's family. You can't walk away from family, you know, no matter how upset you are at the end of the day. But um, we do have different uh, personalities as well. We have different beliefs and ideas and opinions. Sometimes that clashes, but you know, like I said, you do, you have a focus, you have a purpose while you are together. So you stick to that and that really drives you. Bye. Alrighty. Now, um, uh, guys, nice to meet you for the first time. Uh, so let me ask you this, right? Um, with the kind of music you make, yeah, uh, you might have, or you might have met a lot of uh, artists all over the world, definitely trying to keep their music in with a particular market, right? But where would you say you fit in or your sound fits in? Mm. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll sound like, I mean, if you listen to, I don't know if you've listened to some of our old songs as well, like it was mainly really pure English. There was no mm. African lingua in it or anything. And at mm. some point we, we, you know, we started writing songs to include our language and Pidgin English and Yoruba and everything. But it's actually been accepted even by, you know, like Irish people, Spanish people. So I think at the end of the music, it's all about the soul. You know, mm. it's all about how how it makes you feel. Sometimes I listen to South African music and I don't even know what they're saying, but yeah, I'm like, mm, this is yeah. such a good song. So it it actually does cross over, not just in Africa and Nigeria. You know, it is being um, played exactly. here and enjoyed here as well. So as as much as as long as you connect to the music, and um, I wouldn't like to just kind of you know say, okay, it's just meant for this particular set of people so i think it's it's universal in my opinion all right so that just brought me to the question um or you know now that you just told me it's in pure english it doesn't have any nigerian lingo you know <laughs> people will begin to look at you like oh are these guys sell out you are nigerians for crying no, out no, loud no, no, yeah he's not exactly. going to see i'm just waiting for that day that you know stone will come and do baby yeah <laughs> you know but we haven't seen that Are we, should we be expecting anything like that from you guys you know some afrocentric sound um i i think we have some songs like that you know and may not sound like the you know the the current um Maybe, kind of mm -hmm. um i don't know what 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 the name of the sound is right now but maybe not that beat but i at the end of the day with music, I think you stay true to yourself, you know. Mm. I may not be able to sing the slang and everything as much as, say, for example, I don't know, Yemi Alade world people. My sound is unique to myself, mm. you know. Mm. For me, music is reaching the people that, you know, that you have been called to reach, you know. So it's not really about trying to sound like somebody else or sound you know um, sorry not not to look like um sorry guys uh, but do you think your sound is kind of conscious because when i listen to your music i notice you guys are being particularly conscious you know you don't hear a lot of f words curse words and all of that is that actually your strategy or you know that just happens based on who you guys are i think yes. I, yeah. I think more me <laughs> okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah let's still answer that yeah, because it's, 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 it's a very important part of uh, our, our music or we bring in music out there, what we're creating and actually uh, giving to people. That is a very important mm. part of it. Mm. So it's just one important part of it. We don't like to kind of put it in one place. It's mm. quite general, but conscious is, is, is one important part of it. Yeah. Why? All right. Would you even go as far as saying that you're a Christian? Because I've seen Jesus in your music videos. <laughs> Lots of Jesus, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so would you guys probably say that you guys are Christian artists as well? Well, I, I'm Christian by, you know, uh, that's my faith. And mm -hmm. I don't hide that at all. It comes out in my music, I think. Even if I don't say Jesus this or Jesus that, mm. it is who I am. Do you know what I mean? So it, it will come out somehow in my music because that's what I represent. Mm. And the, I mean, the, the reason I say that is because most people would, you know, be in that category because it's another industry in the music industry mm. on its own, yeah. you know? So it seems like y'all don't really want to be there, but you're in there. So are you... Where do we put you into, or are you going to... Conscious music? Yeah, 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 because, I mean... That music is conscious, you know. Yeah. Right, so we wouldn't... You don't want to be categorized as a gospel artist. No, we won't say we're gospel artists, you know, because if, if you listen to a lot of our other songs as well, we talk about love, we talk mm. about different stuff, things, yeah. you know. And if you have, um, like of all our fans that have been with us from the beginning, we have different things we talk about. We have right. another song that talks about Orefe and how the guy kind of treats the girl and mm, things like that. Mm. So that might not come across as Christian, you know, but right. so it, it will appeal to different people. Right. So. Okay, just before I, move, I, I let Quincy go, um, I wanted to know what yeah, you... you let me go? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to know what your progressions are like. What are you looking at to make yourselves a lot bigger? Obviously, the, I don't think the ends of the world have heard your music and I'm guessing that's everybody's, you know, aim or whatever. So how are you planning on expanding? Like, it's a new year. We're just in February. So do you guys have any concrete plans? Are you going to also come to Nigeria, do some things here? Like, I want to know what your expansion plans are, really. Who's taking it? I mean, your, 
you're you're hundred percent right that uh, we we're, we're trying to expand and um, get this to a like larger audience. I mean, our plans, our strategic plans, they they come. You know, we have teams dealing with that, so. I wouldn't want to be putting out the secrets of what we're doing, but definitely to know that we do have a lot of plans. And, Stone, it's tea time. You have to spill have to some spill. tea. Even, if, it's, even tea. if you tell us that you have new a new PA <laughs> we, or something, we, which one is all these we, PR answers no, you're I, giving us? I, I sacked the, I sacked <laughs> the last the PA. I call out I'm the guys. You know this story. Huh? <laughs> we, we, got, we, we, have like, um, we have a double album we're working on okay. uh, that's coming out this year. Yay. And, um, you know, from this... Uh, uh, single release we're going to be dropping some other uh, single releases i know you said about nigerian style you know the style of singing we do have songs like that oh, and some of them will come out and we're working on some what of them. nigerian lingo is in that song you you will have nigerian lingo in it yes. yeah tell yeah, us we'd one be, just one spill something stone uh -uh. we be we, we We've been, we've been Niger people now, so... Hey, which Nigerian you know, lingo you know, is Oh, yeah, she may switch to Pidgin. Pidgin. Maybe we could go to Pidgin. Let me sing one, um, just to curse. All right, fey, ya, pao. Oshé. Okay, we're looking okay. forward to that, guys. Right. Now, um, uh, um, I want to ask you this. Uh, so, the music business in general, uh, I mean, all over the globe, um, has gone fully digital. Right, and I want to believe that you guys have been making music well over at least half a, over half a decade mm. ago, right? Yeah. Uh, looking at the awards and everything, mm. uh, within that space and now, everything has changed. Literally, about eighty percent of how the music business is conducted has changed. How have you been able to move with the change in times? Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely correct there, and even with the pandemic as well, you find that. You, you, you're not having um, shows outdoor, things like that anymore. Um, I, I don't know about Nigeria. Well, I know about Nigeria. There's not much of a lockdown going on. You know, I see people posting and going out to restaurants. No, having, when, when we thank were you for sharing my country. It. When we were experiencing it, you were not there. <laughs> over here. <laughs> but over here in Ireland, like, this is a lockdown. So you can't even have an event except it's mm. online, you know. So obviously, that has also helped us to kind of um you know look at our strategies and really really focus on that um aspect of being present online on instagram and tiktok and facebook and things like that so i personally wouldn't be much of a social media person but i've had to i've had to kind of you know get myself to that level to say okay this is the platform where people will listen to the music so we've like like stone said we're working with you know um uh, social media specialists and everything who are also kind of helping us and to get you to get on that track as well. Right, so right. sorry. Um, on. One more thing, right? Um, music is now almost um, at a point where it's all about top of the mind awareness, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I think according to Nielsen Music, for the past two years, there's a general decline in um, attention span for people, mm -hmm. for movies, yeah, okay. for music, mm -hmm. everything, sure. right? So um, what extra thing are you guys doing with your music or for your music uh, to keep that awareness out there aside mm -hmm. from this interview keep the fans yeah. 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 aside from this interview you get what i mean what what extra stuff are you guys putting out there or oh, do it yeah so okay extra stuff that we're doing apart from this interview we have other interviews as <laughs> <Yeah>. well um, <laughs> As well, and um, we also have, of, of course, in in we're in Ireland. So, as much as we want to be present around the world as well for people to listen, we also have to, you know, um, promote our music here as well. So we have other things here that are in store. We we're working with, you know, people who are organizing like, uh, you know, lo online shows and things like that, so that we can get ourselves. Uh, seen as well online as well so there are other things that I do as well and um, for the team you know like work, working with charities which is something that I like to do oh, as well yeah. that also kind of helps you to cut across 
other uh, genres and other, you know, other sets of people that sure. probably maybe might not be able to reach on a normal day. So there's a lot of that going on in the background as well, which we will also be showcasing on, on our social media platforms as well. All right. Speaking of social media platforms, we've seen, uh, like he said, you know, music has gone digital and all that. Now we see people promoting their music using social media, using TikTok, using all the, you know, Instagram and all of that. But are you guys, you, you said you're not a social media person. Don't you think it's time for you to jump on that bandwagon and make it happen all oh, right i mean we, we we already jumped on that we've been on that bandwagon it's just um we were a bit slow by ourselves so that's why you you have to let the teams you know yeah. handle this so True. what we're doing now is handling that 100 yeah. percent. you know because um we had to move almost everything towards digital i mean the last time i recorded f just from my phone and it was a good mm. recording you know over the air you know, so mm. a lot of things that ha has happened tech, uh, technically, right. and we, we, you know, we we have it's like you have no choice. So there's a lot of positives in it because you have no choice anymore doing it the other way. All right, so we need to go on the music break, but I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but I've never seen people perform via Zoom. So we, we we're gonna be playing Fly, and that's gonna be the first video of this music break. But I just like you guys to do like a quick duo, you know, just give us a rendition of Fly, you know, before the people get to see the video officially. So can you guys do that together? real quick so you guys should decide what you want to do is it the chorus is it a verse what are you guys doing together i'm gonna do the chorus I'm and gonna he's gonna do his verse <laughs> maybe all righty let's get that let's get that to happen real quick oh i so totally shame your destiny is sure not them go tired if they want to bring you on the low your life is in his hands and nothing you can do. Not them go tired if they want to bring you on a love. Oh, 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 I take a little pain and watch the cars from my eyes. Hustle on the pain and the reason with that. Now I'm going to change it out like I did from the rap. I just want to put it out like that. Was gonna freestyle, but it comes out right from the head, like not in the song. So go check us out. This Stone and Jezreel. I gotta spell it out like S T O N E. Should I continue? A N D J E to the Z R E E L. You can find us everywhere. Social mm -hmm. media. We right there now. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's Stone and Jezreel dishing it out, you know, hot, hot, as if they hot, and not them go tired if they try to bring us down. And we're going on a music break. Thank you, John Stone and Jezreel, for joining us on the show, you know, and nice to finally meet you, Jezreel, in particular. Stone, you can go and sit down here. All right? <laughs> All right, man, thank you guys for joining us on the show. And we'll take...